All we need now is a fuse to blow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my name is James Martin, and uh, the reason I'm wearing my hat is uh, <laughs> I like to keep my head warm. <laughs> but I do remember Ballard High School. Well, it's not all a uh, pleasant experience, because I was a, a, a troublesome youth, and um, we lived close to the school just short walking distance to the high school and every day when I would leave the house I would hide the lunch in the shrubbery <laughs> so then I would uh, get hungry around lunchtime and I'd leave school and go downtown <laughs> you're not getting much out of me are you <laughs> High school is a great um, stepping stone to something, and, and I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> About Ballard High School, the good thing is I discovered that there was a great art department, and there was a great teacher, Ori Nobles, Ori Nobles. He took a personal interest in the students, and then he would take people on these tours. He would. Uh, load two or three of them in his green Nash and we'd visit different high schools to the art departments and we could see what they were you know what they were producing then. You learn from every artist that you uh, witness. James Martin is one of the most greatest humorous curatorial very tremendous artists that has the idea of composition having character. There's a, a characterial uh, laughter out of these artists. Humor and levity. I don't think there's enough humor in art. Uh, a lot of artists, I suspect, uh, take their work too serious. With me, to me, it's a challenge to get a smile once in a while. <laughs> For instance, I did a painting last year when the Mariners were losing 101 games. <laughs> so then I discovered that by reading a lot of literature, there's where ideas come for me. And I just finished a painting called uh, Other Voices, Other Rooms, which is uh, Truma Capote's first novel. Uh, also, um, I'm fascinated with Shakespeare. In fact, I'm fascinated with stories about Shakespeare. A lady came by and, and gave me a candy sucker, and it was uh, Shakespeare. And so I put him, I put Shakespeare as a candy sucker in the painting. You don't see humor that much in art, but you see it in the West Coast, certainly artists of the Northwest. It's risky, why? Because humor can date. But I think that James Martin has been successful at, at capturing it. What is funny about James Martin? Part of that is the unexpected uh, juxtapositions of people, a, a dog next to a uh, opera singer or something like that, that uh, it communicates very directly. Like a theater, like a play, like a, like a comic sketch. So we've hung those paintings near the entrance to the theater. When I do a male figure, he's got to have my nose. <laughs> have a big nose, you know. If you have a big nose, that means that's the first thing that enters the room. And as for a woman, you can make a pretty woman, you can make a dangerous woman too. But color is color, you got red and blue, you got yellow, you got black, white. There's an old rule that blue and green don't go together. Well, an artist ignores all those rules, he just does. With Martin, the, his connection to popular culture, but also high culture literature, references to Shakespeare and William Faulkner and Marcel Proust, he wants uh, sent me a sketch of, of me as Marcel Proust. I'd like to give more to the collection. I give my paintings away as well as sell them, you know. It's, it's more fun to give them away than sell them. But I would, I would, I believe in collections like that. It is a good thing. I hope to expand it. So, I cannot praise Ballard High School enough now that I've out of there, you know. 
<laughs> Can I show you? Uh, yeah. It's a finger puppet of Picasso. Don't you, doesn't he look like yeah. Picasso? Let's see. And you made that? No, it was given to me uh -huh. by um, a woman, an uh, art critic. And but you see, he's kind of balding, and, mm -hmm. and he's got a sailor's jersey on. Okay. And uh, so I don't know why I showed you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. <laughs>